to 6.12 a.m. Thursday. Uh, I'm just off that heater. It's so loud. Oh, that heater is so loud. <laughs> oh, I'm so, so sleepy. I'm so sleepy, I just cannot get up. <laughs> I've been having coffee, like, these past few days and yesterday I think I sort of I don't know I stopped I don't know what happened but my whole body just shut down and and this this is major like my body is so tired it's like I can't even get up off this chair <sighs> anyway so I gotta go to the uh I have to go to the, uh, the, the, the job agency to talk to this counselor and I just don't see the point of talking to her. I feel so sleepy. Uh, she told me that I had to do some research on social justice and human rights jobs and I'm like I didn't do any of that research <laughs> I neglected to do it um, what can I do peeps oh. hey, hey, hey a little bit hey. <laughs> um, neglected myself. I'm so tired. Oh, I am so tired. Yeah, but I think I, I, I didn't, I didn't eat that much yesterday, so I feel better about that. <laughs> I might be losing some weight. Oh, that's good. That's good. Look, talking to the camera is actually making me feel better. Oh, I like talking to the camera. I like talking. Ah, what the hell? Why is that all? Where did the light come from? Oh, that's the uh, laptop screen. Reflecting back onto my face. <sighs> It's a laptop. Oh, my eyes like my eyes like always go like I don't know. There's something wrong. Like it's like a bird's thing. <laughs> Their eyes are like <laughs> they go like that. Um, oh, like <laughs> oh, what the hell? Uh, I gotta shave. Oh my god. Oh, there isn't, there isn't much fat down there, look. See? See, look at that. See? That's good. Look at that. Yeah. I can look a small way, it'll be even lose a bit more. Uh, anyway, I gotta get myself going. Oh, my God. Oh. I guess I'll have one coffee. Only, only one coffee a day. Anyway, it's six sixteen a.m. Six sixteen a.m. Oh, I gotta get going. Oh, we just done six seventeen. Huh. Huh. What am I doing? Yeah, yeah. I better get ready. Yeah. <coughs> It's um, 7.24 a.m. I ate some food. Better. I sent an email to my employment agency saying I cannot come today. Because I'm just way too exhausted. 
don't know what they're gonna say. I'm just too fucked. <laughs> too fucked. Can't do anything. Can't sleep. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I feel so. I feel so messed up. I know. Oh, look. Oh, my face isn't that fat. So that's that makes me happy. Slightly thin. Huh? Face looks a bit thin. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Anyway. I guess I will uh, update and uh, do I have to go to the appointment or not situation. I'm so exhausted. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Why am I so... Hmm. I mean, why am I so tired? So tired. Jesus. Why is that? So weird. So exhausted. There's a video on BuzzFeed called What dating is like when you're HIV positive? Holy shit. I gotta see that one. Oh man. That's really messed up. I mean, you know. Uh, the disease is really messed up. Anyway, so I got him. Well, I don't got him, but I think I'll just drink my coffee or something. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's 8.40 a.m. <sighs> I, I am really, I'm really fucked up. <laughs> so I told the, uh, I sent him an e email to them saying, I can't come today because I'm really exhausted. And they said, can they call you on the phone? And I said, okay, I can talk to them on the phone. I don't know what I'm going to talk to them about, though. I feel like shit. I don't want to work. <laughs> I feel like shit. I don't want to work. I'll leave you the fuck alone. I don't want to talk to you. What are you going to possibly tell me? Oh, man. These people just don't know how to do anything. Yeah. They don't know how to do anything. Oh, I got this movie on uh, what is it? iTunes. It's called Zero Theorem. The Zero Theorem. It's a film by Terry Gilliam. Uh, it stars that guy Christoph Waltz. You know, he acted in the Inglorious Bastards and J Dango Unchained. I'll get that. I like that movie Dango and Chain. I'll get that one. I've been getting lots and lots of movies. Yes. Yes, I am. D J A N J Unchained. I want to get the Blu ray version. <laughs> the Blu ray. I hate when they make the Blu ray and they give you this stupid. Uh, what is it? Ultraviolet or some crap copy? Ugh, whatever. 
Yeah, I like that movie, Dagger. <laughs> oh. 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 All Quiet on the Western Front. That should be a good movie. All Quiet on the Western Front. I haven't seen that one. But apparently it is one of a one of those war movies. The Hateful Eight? Is that a Tarantino movie? Oh man, The Hateful Eight. The Hateful Eight. Oh. Let's see. Hateful Eight. The eighth film by Quentin Tarantino. <gasps> Limited edition with 30 page collector's book and alternative artwork. Artwork. Exclusive. Oh my god, Samuel L. Jackson is, a, is again in it. How many movies does. Samuel L. Jackson being in with uh, Tarantino. Eh, I'll get that one too. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> the hell is that Christoph Waltz? Nah. No, that's Tim Roth. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Uh, so anyways, I'm waiting for their call and apparently the plumber is going to come today. We got a call from the plumber. Ooh, it's the Hateful Eight the Limited Edition. Oh, they got... Oh, it looks good. It's got some extra stuff in it. Uh, oh, yeah, zero theorem. I'm also seeing the Elephant Man. You know, one thing I noticed about that film, which is kind of very weird to me, is like, yes, the elephant man's suffering is uh, horrible, but people are like, you're not, uh, they also, they, all, all of these people are like treating him like he's a weirdo. <laughs> Even the people who are supposed to be sympathetic to the elephant man, they're treating him like he's weird, they're like he's, he's a freak. There are those people who are, who are obviously, you know, treating him like a freak. The people who are trying to help him are also treating him like a freak. You know what I mean? And I, I found that very weird. Maybe they addressed that in the movie. Uh, they were sort of addressing it. Um, I was seeing those scenes and you know, I'm like, all these people come and say, oh, you're, you're intelligent. It's like, it sounds kind of like a backhanded compliment. You know what I mean? It's so like when someone tells someone who is, let's say, ugly or whatever, they say, oh, you're beautiful, <laughs> or something like that. Or if you're a trans woman and someone says, oh, you're beautiful for a trans woman. So anyway, I found it very odd. And uh, it's like these days I feel like if the elephant man was around, it's like, I don't think it'll be such a big deal because I feel like all of us are kind of freaks in our own way. We're all fucked up psychologically or physically or whatever. There's always, we're not that, um, there isn't this kind of, uh, you know, the unfucked up person. So I don't feel like, uh, you know, I don't think we would see the elephant. Yeah, the elephant man's suffering is horrible. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not denying, I'm only denying his physical suffering. But what I'm saying is, we wouldn't be thinking of the Elephant Man as somehow uh, particularly unusual. He would just be another living thing. Uh, you know, people's, uh, I'm not denying the Elephant Man's suffering. I'm not denying people's suffering who suffer from cancer or some other illness. 
That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is we have, uh, these days, if someone's suffering from cancer, we're like, oh, you suffer from cancer. It's, like, it's almost like you've become uh, used to suffering or used to this idea of death that we just don't um, care that much or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to deal with this stupid appointment with the phone and... Mm. Yeah. Hmm, 9.50 a.m. Oh. So it was at a conversation with the, uh, oh, counselor. Counselor? Counselor? Oh, the, um, psychotherapist. The, uh, place of work. Yeah, it's talking about, like, how I was feeling really depressed. Feeling like a motivation, and uh, how I had to. I was um, struggling a lot this week due to personal problems. Uh, I feel like I have dealt with that, you know, personal problem, and. Um, so, uh, I feel like things have ended, ended in some way, and, uh, you know, and uh, it's time for me to move on and uh, go forward with my life. Oh, I feel so depressing again by right now. Oh, God. Fucking hell, it's so depressing. Um... That uh, yeah, go forward with my life and uh... oh man, I'm so isolated, man. I'm just so messed up. I'm so messed up. Uh... Anyway, so I'm I'm uploading some videos to my fat life. Uh, what the fuck? How can I get my damn profile? Shit. Well, I haven't signed into my FedLife account for a while. Three months. Shit. Um, where the fuck is my video, you stupid shit? It said it uploaded my video. Dumb fucking thing. <laughs> anyway. So. Yes, I'm, uh, I'm uploading some videos. Hmm. I just have a picture of this... Some guy putting something around his penis and... What the fuck is that? I don't know. Weird looking. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fed life for you. Um, mm, yeah. Well, you can check my videos out on my fed life channel. You know, my fed life account. But I think you need a fed life, uh, what do you call it? Account. Oh, I did have like half a cigarette today. So I was feeling like she, I was I was smoking this cigarette and then, then halfway through smoking it it's like oh god this is shit yuck and I just threw it away it's like it's just crap Ugh, I hate I don't like smoking I think it's disgusting disgusting anyway so um I'm just gonna handle this. I can't handle things. I cannot handle this. I cannot handle this. Oh yes, the videos I am uploading, they're very graphic. Pornographic almost. So, if you're interested in things like that. Yeah, I might make more of this. 
<laughs> I think I'll just uh, upload this video now. So I've talked enough. I'm tired of talking. I'm tired. I'm so tired. Anyway. Mm.